Okay, so I want to show you uh, why I'm excited about this new feature where you can set the field value as a native step in the campaign builder. So to do it, we need to have a field that we're going to set to a specific value. So here I am under admin settings. Let's go ahead and choose a contact field and I'll just click add and we'll just choose our uh, promo link or something like that. We'll call it a promotional link and we'll leave it as a text field uh, tab as well. Test fields and then we'll add a new header uh, test header. Okay, and then save. So now it's here on the contact record under header, uh, tab, header, test fields, test, and it's a text link and it's called promo link. Okay, so now I've got my campaign. This is my four day promotion. So this campaign would be triggered uh, whenever somebody, I don't know, watches or requests the demo video, right? So somebody watches something on my website and then I wanna say, hey, you've got four days to take advantage of this, something like that. So you've got a web form, you're saying, give me your information. And then as soon as they go through to the thank you page, you've got the video, right? So let's just set this as ready. Uh, what you're offering here is irrelevant. Uh, it's just this sequence that we need to happen next. So this is our four day uh, countdown. And you could do seven day, you could do 30 day, you could do whatever you want. Um, four days, certainly one of the most popular ones out there. So let's do it like that. So we open the sequence and the first thing we do in here is under process, now we grab set a field value, okay? And from here, we get to choose which field value we want to set. So there's promo link right there. And promo link, we'll set it to www um, cartopen.com. So we'll drive them to either a landing, uh, an order form URL or a shopping cart link or something like that, some sort of destination where they can get this product at a discount. In fact, I would probably do an order form because it has a unique URL. So www.cartopen.com forward slash product one uh, and discount equals um, discount code, you know, or whatever the URL is for that particular location. So we set that to ready, go back to our sequence, and now we send them an email. And we say, uh, four days left, right? And so in here, we would um, we would wanna say, hey, so-and-so, um, here's your special offer. Take advantage while you can. And in here, I would say, four days days left take advantage while you can buy now and instead of linking this to a URL uh, I'm actually going to link it to the merge field for that custom field so if you recall I put the URL in the promo link field so what I need to do now is just grab that promo link uh, merge field control X or command X and then pop it in behind the text. So by now, send them here. Contact promo link, insert update. Uh, you gotta do it sometimes more than once just because the email builder doesn't always like it. Uh, there we go. So by now, um, talk, uh, you won't regret it. Something like that. And you could of course put in all the details about the product or the sale or the promotion or why it's important. Um, and then we want to wait a day so the next day, we will remind them, and this is gonna be any day at 8 a.m. is fine. Um, and then I wanna just copy that process a couple of times. So this becomes my three days left, right? And then, uh, whoops, there we go. And then of course, two days left and one final time for my last day. There we go. So now I've got my four days, three days, two day, and last day, uh, two day, and one day. And I can of course go through and set all of these as ready. and modify my you know my subject lines or any of the copy or any of the text to have increasing urgency so three days left the link is still the same uh two days left 
Uh, the link, of course, is the same for each of these. We're just linking to that value, uh, to that field value, which has not changed yet. Um, and many of you probably see where we're going with this. Um, but the once the promotion ends, so I'm going to wait, uh, let's say, no delay. And so no delay. And then I'll run at... 12 a.m. So that's basically going to be midnight, right? That'll be 12 a.m. of the next day. So at 8 a.m. they'll get this email and we'll probably just say, hey, it's good through midnight tonight. Uh, and I'll just say last chance, last chance. And you could uh, build in, you know, reminders at different intervals, right? I'm just sending emails at 8 a.m., but you could send emails throughout the day. You could send emails at 7 p.m. saying, hey, you've got five hours left, what have you. But then at 12 a.m., uh, we want to jump to that process again, and we want to change that URL now. So set field value, and we'll choose promo uh, link again. And this time we'll put it to www sorry cart closed.com or to a link where it has the product for the full price either way but the idea here is that after a certain amount of time we change that link back to this so the reason that works is because when this email is sent remember it's not linking to a url it's linking to a field value so when somebody clicks that link it's going to go look at that time and see what the value is in that field on the contact record. So if you change this field value, they can go back to the email they received four days ago. And if they click that link, it's going to take them to the new cart closed page. So this is how you can do an expiring offer of some kind in an evergreen fashion. So we want to, of course, drive them toward a purchase. So this would be purchase my product. Here we go. And then um, I would actually do one more thing. So purchase my product. After they purchase, I would also set that field value to the cart closed uh, just in case, right? So if they buy, I want this to stop. But that means that this last set field value will never happen. So I need to make sure that if they buy, I'm switching that URL back to a cart closed just so that they're not taking advantage of it or, or something like that. So uh, promo link. And then we'll say www.cartclosed.com. So if they go back and they want to buy again, that offer has now expired. So uh, that's kind of why I'm so excited about this field value. There are dozens, probably hundreds of use cases for this. Um, but this one is one I've reached for pretty regularly. And until now, you had to do it using uh, action sets which was not super convenient and was a little bit technical and was just harder to maintain. There wasn't the same level of transparency. So being able to set field values throughout the campaign is gonna make all of our lives a lot easier and hopefully make your marketing that much more effective because now you can leverage urgency in a more native way. Enjoy.